Spurgeon here with Revzilla, and today we're going to take a look at the Scorpion 18950 Battle Flage graphic available at Revzilla.com. So, Scorpion has finally released a helmet for all of you Halo gamer fans out there. The Battle Flage graphic is going to be one color available, and you're going to see a distressed camouflage working throughout the entire AT950. Now, if you're not familiar with the AT950, this is going to be a cool helmet from Scorpion. What you're getting is a combination modular helmet, which means that if I pull this little button right up front, which would have been better, there we go. If we pull this up front, we're going to get a modular design to this, which means you can rock it in the open position. You're also going to notice that this is going to have what looks to be a dual sport setup with a peak on this. Now, the peak is going to be removable, and you are going to have side pods that come with this. So if you want to take the peak off, you can rock it as just a standard full face helmet. This is also going to be a polycarb shell. Three different shell sizes available. When we threw it on the scale, it came in at 3 pounds, 14 ounces in a medium. So it's a little bit on the heavy side. DOT rating with this, and keep in mind it is an intermediate oval fit. So what does that mean for you? That means if you put this on your head, it's going to be a little bit longer front to back, a little bit narrower on the side of the head, and it will work for the majority of you riders out there in the American market. Now, if you have additional questions about what the AT950 is and what it does, make sure to watch our detailed breakdown video where we take the insides of the helmet, we rip it out, and we show you everything that's going on with this particular lid. Let's break down the Battle Flage graphic. So really what you're seeing, distressed military theme here. So it's going to be a matte finish to this. You will have symmetry running down both sides. You're going to see the Scorpion logo with the American flag working its way across the peak. And as we pull around to the back, one of the things you'll note is that it's a very muted camo. It's not going to be overly done, not overly bright, not too grayscale. And you're going to see it's going to be kind of offset with this distressed black. So if I hold it up, actually, it's probably going to be easier if I hold it sideways like this. You'll have a distressed matte black. And then it also kind of fades out a little bit in the back with a little bit more of a grayscale as it kind of fades back into the camouflage. And as we turn this around to the back, when you get to the rear vent peak or the rear ventilation scheme on this, what you will notice is a little bit of distress with the striping on the back. And then again, that camouflage continues all the way through the end. So really, it's for anyone out there looking for something that's a little bit more military inspired, or maybe you're going to be using this on an ATV out in the woods somewhere and you don't want a bright, flashy helmet to scare away all the ducks you're trying to shoot down out of the sky like you're playing duck hunt. Maybe Halo is too advanced for you. You're more of a duck hunt kind of a guy or girl. Regardless of that, if you are interested in the AT950 and you want to hear more about what other riders have to say, click the info button on your desktop or mobile device, which will allow you to read rider reviews from folks that are already out there putting this Scorpion helmet through its paces. If you have more questions for one of our gear geeks as to which helmet's right for you or which one's going to fit you best, give them a shout, 877-792-9455, or simply shoot us an email, cs at revzilla.com. Thank you for joining us for this look at the Scorpion AT950 Battleflage. I'm Spurge. Enjoy the ride.